Good evening. My name is Kristen Kennedy, and I have been a resident of Rochester Hills for over seven years. I'm here tonight to speak out against oil and gas drilling. Prior to becoming a homemaker, I was IBM's lead financial controller on their entire portfolio of oil and gas clients, so I am no stranger to this industry. Everything that has happened around the leasing of the city's parks is suspicious. From the Christmas holiday season date the lease was discussed to the oil-friendly interpretation of the city charter, to never providing a clear business case, and to the invite-only informational meeting, to the missing work in progress ordinances on the city website, and to the refusal to work further on ordinances regarding oil and gas while neighboring cities like Auburn Hills and Rochester do so. It is incredibly insulting that you have treated our citizens in such a dishonest, calculating way. Clearly, you don't understand your constituents well enough to know we are smart and we are not going to believe every spin you have put on the horrible situation you have got us in. I've been coming to these meetings for months now, so I know it will happen after we all are done speaking this evening. Attorney Starin will do his best to discredit and defend every statement we have made without showing any compassion or interest in the fact that there is a room full of citizens with very legitimate concerns. I went to the emergency Shelby Township meeting last week, and their city attorney sat openly answering every single question his citizens had. Heck, we can't even get a city town hall meeting after seven months of asking for one. First million dollar question of the evening. What was the downside of taking a vote for such a serious issue? Why lease our parks without a vote when our charter specifically requires a vote to do so? Come on, you don't think after the water tower fiasco and all the trouble we went through to amend the charter, we wouldn't want to vote on oil and gas drilling? That's exactly why the amendment was put into place. We want to vote on what happens with our city parks because we don't trust you, and clearly you have proven that again. Attorney Starin, the fact that you helped write this amendment and are now interpreting in another way, you should be fired, sir. Clearly, you did a poor job putting into place what the people of Rochester Hills hired you to do. Second million dollar question of the evening, what's in it for you? Probably a generous political contribution. No mayor in, in the city council would sell their city out like you folks have if there wasn't something in it for you. What you have done does not pass the smell test, and all of you that voted deserve your positions recalled. You are not working on behalf of your constituents' best interests. Once residents see a big oil rig go up, you will never be elected again for anything. People will definitely make the connection between who they vote for and what they got. Finally, the big picture. Say we are unfortunate like Shelby Township and the big rig goes up. Rochester Hills will be ruined as we know it. Home values will significantly decre decrease. I know this because the people of Shelby, if they wanted to, they could not give away their half million dollar homes right now. And you want to know what? Mayor Brian Barnett will be to Rochester Hills what Kwame Kilpatrick is to Detroit with Bobby Ferguson right there. All right, thank Don't you. drill the hills! Thank you.